Hey guys, it's Soda here and welcome back to another video. Today, I just thought I would film the process of me changing around my frog tank. Now, I'm not gonna lie, it looks pretty terrible at the moment. Uh, I've already removed a lot of the sphagnum moss and stuff like that, so it looks pretty lame and I kind of hate it, so I really wanted to make it look more natural and stuff and I want to make a bigger water area for them because I do like to spend a bit of time in the water, especially since it is uh, coming spring now in New Zealand. They do tend to spend more time in the water during spring and summer, so I wanted to make a bigger water area and make the tank look a lot more natural. So of course, first thing I do is I put all the frogs into a little container temporarily. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh God, oh God. Always make sure you wet your hands before touching your frogs. You can see that I did that before. Um, I take everything out of the tank. I found a lot of mealworms and crickets that had been, not been eaten. So I also put all of that extra food in the container with them and they did eat most of it. So that's good. Oh, those are some big ass crickets. Yeah, and they're not even full size. Cricket on a frog. They don't like being in the small container, obviously, but it is only temporary and I don't often take them out of the tank like this unless I'm doing a full uh, clean up. You better not. There's a mealworm in there. Oh no. So we moved the tank outside so I can give it a proper hose down and get all of this old moss out of there and all that nasty stuff, you know? I just put some sand in here. This is some just nice uh, aquarium sand that I use in a few of my tanks that I had left over and I think it looks super nice in this tank especially because the frogs really stand out on this um, white sand and the sand's already been pre-washed too so it won't be cloudy which is nice. Then I add the water. I'm putting it into a ice cream container first just so it doesn't disturb the sand too much. Um, and also I am dechlorinating the water. I didn't get it on video until later on when I put some more dechlorinated in there But yes, I did dechlorinate the water first which you should always do for frogs because their skin is very sensitive I put in the UVB light and then I put in the filter. Um, I quite like this filter because it can be put into shallow water And I'm just cleaning out some things that came out of the filter when I turned it on um, I put in some different driftwood and some little bits and pieces that I already had, some cute little caves and there's an aquatic plant I put in there that I originally had for my tanks but it just wasn't growing or anything so thought I would see how it does in here. I like putting in quite a bit of driftwood so they have places to climb and stuff and to get closer to the UVB light because I do enjoy sitting under it. I put around some moss, this is java moss, it is aquatic moss but also can be kept out of water as long as you are spraying it with water all the time. I put in some stones just for decoration and also so they have different surfaces to climb on. It's mainly focusing on your hair right now. Oh. <laughs> more driftwood like higher up so they can get to the land easier and stuff. Mm. The fun part is putting the frogs back in. Doggy time! Did they eat the crickets in there? Probably. Oh they did. <laughs> Yay! Yeah. Oh. Oh. <coughs> Here they go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Just like that. Oh you can go for a swim! <laughs> Froggy boy. Smells like Prime. Yeah. Prime has that quite the uh, luxurious smell for sure. If I could use more. Prime as the deodorant, I would. Pr Ew. Would you drink Prime for a million dollars? Fuck yeah. I'll drink that in an instant. How much though? Like a cat? No, a whole bottle. Oh no. <laughs> Dude, they'll probably like kill you. You'd probably be sick for like a week. Probably. Here I just thought I would show you guys what I do before putting driftwood into my aquariums or into the frog tank. Driftwood can be quite expensive at pet stores so I actually just get all my driftwood from the beach. Um, all you need to do is boil the driftwood just to get rid of any potential parasites and to get rid of the saltiness in the driftwood. I did this just a couple of times. Um, you can also boil it in a pot if you want but um, sometimes the pieces are a bit too big. Alright, 
so this is the finished result of the frog tank. Today I just added another piece of driftwood and I added this plant. I also put some duckweed in here which is kind of collecting over here. The filter is a bit strong so it's kind of just pushing all the duckweed into one area so maybe I'll get a, a less strong filter one day but I really love how this turned out. I think it looks really cool, really natural. Um, the frogs seem to like the extra water too. I don't know where they are right now. I kind of scared them off because I was putting the new driftwood in there and stuff, so they're hiding somewhere. I can't wait to catch some flies and put them in here and see the frogs chasing them in here. That's like the most fun thing to do. Maybe I'll add a bit more driftwood in here later on, but I think this is pretty good for now. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put some minnows in here. So I already have some mountain minnows and some sunset minnows in a different tank with my goldfish. So I think I want to put them in here and maybe they can breed and stuff too. They might get eaten by the frogs, but... I don't know if the frog will be fast enough. I'm sure they'll try. It's a good snack for them anyway, so. I see you're hiding in the duckweed. Oh, let's get him again. So I'm going to collect all the minnows I have in here. I can't remember how many I have. And maybe they'll breed in here too, because they used to breed quite a lot, but ever since I got these goldfish in here, they haven't been breeding. So the goldfish have probably eaten the eggs or something. All right, so I've caught all the minnows in this bag, so I'm just gonna let them acclimate to the water temperature, because I'm not sure if it might be a little bit different, just for about 15, 20 minutes. So this will be interesting to see what they think. I think they'll like the current, because the current is a bit strong in this tank and minnows do seem to enjoy that. Be interesting to see if any of the frogs eat them. Look how nice and green you look today. I love that green stripe that southern bell frogs have. Just so pretty. Alright, they've been acclimating for a bit now so I'm gonna let them out because they look like they're getting a bit frustrated. You just swam like right over them. You didn't even care. I don't think you even noticed them, did you? What do you guys think? At least they have lots of hiding places. There's also caves and things they can hide in. The natural predator of the minnow. All right, what the heck are you doing? Squish that tummy, squish that tummy. Oh, look at all the fish. They're like right beside one of the frogs and they don't even notice it. I'm just, I'm just waiting, like, is one of them just gonna jump up and eat one? It's right in front of you! Oh, I don't think they're smart enough to realize they can eat them. 